You came in with Julio Jones a little bit banged up, but you had your running backs, your other guys, so new to go to your offensive line. This offense is as good, as potent as any we've seen in the National Football League. This guy next to me is a warrior, man. How about that for Julio, right? He is a beast. Showed up. He'd been hurting all week. No doubt about it. He was going to play. He played awesome. Top three wide receivers. Um, Julio Jones. I would always put Julio at number one. He is a man amongst men. He has the full gamut of abilities. I've been in the league for nine years, and to be honest, I've never seen a receiver as good as Julio. Julio, Steve Smith Sr. here, and I'm supposed to ask you all about last week. I just want to know, man, how in the hell do you always thrash us every time you wake up and play us? What, what is the deal? <laughs> <laughs> every time. Yeah, I don't know. I got something. I don't know, man. Uh, today, it was just a lot of zone <laughs> for us, right? I mean, is it? Is, <laughs> man, you know, yeah, I do have. I mean, y'all not the only people I have a good game against, you know? Uh, we just took advantage of the opportunities today. <laughs> That's my dog right there. <laughs> but Julio, first of all, Julio Jones is the best wide receiver in the NFL. If I'm starting a team and you tell me I can pick one wide receiver, that's who I'm picking. Not only because of his size, not only because he's 6'3", 220, not because he runs a 4'3", not because he runs precise routes, not because he can play every wide receiver position, but because he's not a, a diva wide receiver. He comes from Alabama. He's a regular football player. He loves to practice. He loves the game. But Julio Jones is the best wide receiver in the NFL. No, I the thing about Julio is uh, he's what I like to call a mutant. There's no way that guy is normal. I think he can really touch the top of the Georgia Dome if he felt like it. I mean, he's so powerful, you put five guys on him. You throw the ball up, he probably gonna come down with it. Whether it's two hands, one hand, hard to bring down. So it's really nothing you can do with him. Freaking beast. He's a beast, man. He's the first guy I've seen that has like three different gears of speeds. If you were playing Madden, and you were creating a player, you are creating a receiver, it would look a lot like Julio. Probably 6'3", 6'4", 220-something pounds, you know, running 4'3". Uh, he can high point the ball, he can make great catches. He can get in and out of cuts like a little guy, almost like an Antonio Brown, so uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a nightmare matchup for any uh, DB. Communicate. Where's he loving? Where's he loving? You know they're going to throw him the ball 12 to 15 times a game. Everybody knows that. Trying to stop him is the problem. Who would you put top at your position? Who would I put top at my position? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Um, Julio. Julio. I'll, yeah, I'll put Julio. What? He does all the small things right. Look at his eyes. He sees the play and he literally tackles Jeff Heath to make sure there's not an interception. A lot of receivers, ball's not there, they give up on the play. Julio Jones protects his team, protects his quarterback, and gives him another opportunity. Julio, would you want to finish your career with Atlanta? And, 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 and another thing I want to ask you about also because we hear so much about the best receiver in the National Football League. That was a title you had for quite a while and hold and held for quite a while. Now other people are starting to trickle in and Atlanta's losing. I don't know how you guys are losing with you on a football team, but you guys are losing. How much of that do you hear? How much of that do you think about? And do you think you're still the best wide receiver in the National Football League? Absolutely, I think I'm the best. I mean, no doubt about it. Um, just the way I go out, you know, and handle my business, and you know, week in and week out. Um, I was injured early on in the season, but I mean, you'll see. Just keep watching. Julio Jones was like created in a laboratory or something. Like, look at him, right? Laboratory. Excuse me, they pronounce that right. He catches everything. It is caught Julio. by Julio Jones. Oh. Whether it's jumping, whether it's taking a couple extra steps to get it. He just plays the game 
I think, the right way. He's not a, he's not a look at me guy. He's about catching the ball, he's about scoring touchdowns, he's about winning games. We get to play him twice every year, and it's a fun challenge, but sometimes you wish I'm like, man, just stop, stop catching the ball so much, stop running so fast. I know once you had to climb the ladder with him deep downfield. Didn't work very well. We were playing in Atlanta, 2015. Matt sails it for Julio, a little under throw, he caught it! What a catch! Ten, five, touchdown Atlanta! I thought I got up there pretty well. And then all I, all I hear or all I see was somebody's hands over the top of my head. Luke Keekley couldn't take the elevator with Julio Jones. He was always open just because if you're Matt, you can throw anywhere near him. You know, if there's a guy on his left shoulder, Matt just throws it anywhere in front of him on his right shoulder. And that guy's so long, so big that he's able to go get it. So many great receivers today in the NFL. If you had to choose who you feel like were the handful of top receivers in today's game, no particular order, yeah. who would you say? You know, I'm going to give you my number one. My oh. number one mm. is uh, uh, Julio Jones. Really? Julio, Julio Jones has everything. I mean, he's big. He's fast. Uh, uh, the way he can come out his routes, you know, he can make catches. He can run by you. He can do it all. How many receivers that you watched? I mean, definitely best in the game. Definitely Julio. Who's your favorite wide receiver to watch? I watch a lot of Julio. He's a beast. Man, that dude's a dog. He is a dog. He's just a true dog. He's like a, like a real life alien almost. Uh, he looks like a freak. He really has every trait that any receiver has from small to big. Here's your game. There's Julio crossing around. Cut! This is absolutely insane here. Unbelievable. Some of the stuff he's able to do is just, it's a mommy daddy thing. <laughs> God gave an ability. Out of bounds, they say a catch. Julio Jones. Julio Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roll, that's roll tide, no. <laughs> he the real deal. <laughs> what? That's the real deal. What about him? <laughs> Why are we even speaking on him? What makes him one of the best players in the league? I, I, words can't describe it. <laughs> I have nothing to say, man. He's, he's an absolute beast. The runner possessed the ball and broke the plane. Therefore, it is a touchdown. Yeah, Timer. Please reset the game clock to two seconds. The ball game is not over. The ball game is not over. He doesn't change his body language. Just like in communication, if you say something to me and I give you a frown, you then think what you said was bad. It's the same thing with body language on the football field. If I start to slow down, if I raise my body up, the defender knows, okay, something's about to happen. He gets to the top of his route and you don't know that he's about to change direction. You don't know he's about to change speeds. You talk about artwork and motion, that's artwork to me. He's the best I've ever seen. Uh, he looks like a freak. He's the best I've ever seen. I'm serious. snap. Ryan, is he going to run? No, he's going to try to dump it over the top, but he's got Julio Jones. And Julio Jones all the way in for the Atlanta touchdown. Matt Ryan pulling a little rabbit out of his hat. Atlanta not only converts on fourth down, they go 40 yards for the touchdown. The ability that he has and how fast and how quick he is. Julio Jones ran right by him. Deep ball threat. What a phenomenal catch by Julio Jones. I haven't seen it since I've been playing football. Julio Jones is high on my list because you, they have to account for him. You try to do your best to, to take that guy away, um, but with a good quarterback that he has in Matt Ryan, it's almost impossible. Well, wow. What a spectacular grab, maybe even a better throw. Julio. Great talent. He's going to be probably the best one day. Uh, trying to defend Julio is like, 
you what was it Jesse Owens that Jace raced a horse one time? That's kind of what it feels like. <laughs> Champions, Atlanta Falcons owner, Mr. Arthur Blake.